everyone, this is the matriarchy, as I am known. Um, today I wanted to share a game that I really enjoy playing, it's called Let's Build a Zoo. I do have an old game that I had started a while back, and it is pretty intense. I've grown it for a while, and I'll show you what I have right now. But I wanted to start with a new zoo and kind of show you what I have right now. So this is my zoo. I have a ton of different animals. As you can see, I was working over here trying to build. So as you're playing, you end up getting different animals at different times, and so they all have different um, habitats. And you can see I'm trying to like keep the habitats in order. But um, anyway, so this is what my zoo looks like. You have access to all these little shops. You can also start um, building your own power and everything for the zoo. I even have a little farm going to feed my animals. And then these are all my nurseries I have. Here are all my animals. These are all my very common farm animals. Here are like my tropical jungle animals. Here are my savanna animals. Here are my jungle animals. My desert animals. More savanna animals. And then I have my mountain animals. Right here, all these bears. So I'm slowly saving up to um, buy more land and, and the whole the whole area right so I kind of wanted to start a new zoo with you guys and that way you can see um, every aspect of it and I truly enjoy it a lot so let's do that all right so I'm gonna start the new game I selected my avatar now I'm going to type in the name for my zoo. I guess it's only fitting to name it Matriarchy. Right, so you start off with just one square and I have a new task. So I need to meet with Kathleen, she's an investor and I need to visit the management office, which is this little building. It says, hey there, my name is Kathleen and I'm currently your zoo's sole investor. Could you come down to the management office for a quick chat, please? Select the management office. So that's what I'm gonna do. And so it's gonna pop up with all your things here. So here's my task. here you'll have your navigation hold to pan and scroll to zoom in and zoom out all right there you go all I had to do is click on the little office now I got a check mark or a stamp it says all kinds of requests end up here and I know you will want to keep on top of them try viewing a new task now all right so it's asking me my new task I need to build an enclosure Once you click on it, it'll explain a little bit more what you need to do. So build at least one animal enclosure. Every zoo needs animals, but before you can take a delivery of any animal, you need to build an enclosure. So in here it tells you how many tasks this one person will ask of you. So I'm one out of 12. So this is my first task. I'm gonna close that. And on this side, you can see where your tasks are. I'm going to build. 
Now you get basic ones, you get a concrete one, and then you get a grass one. So it just depends what type of animal you get that you're gonna use one of these, right? So the concrete is pretty simple, uh, especially when you don't have any money to buy the other enclosures. So I'm gonna go with the grass one. And here it shows you how to build it. I usually go for a good rectangle, give me enough space, and you'll see why. You need enough space when you're planning out your zoo. So here I go. So this one actually, the grass is zero dollars. Um, I guess it should be right at the entrance, right? So you click down and then you drag. I always like to count out. I'm gonna do an eight by eight. Maybe nine. Uh you can't really go past this, so it's like a weird setting on this game. You always want to put the door where your zookeepers can get to. So, I'm probably going to put it up here and put it in the pathway. So, yay, another task complete. Alright, so, and you're going to get uh, many different people coming and asking you different things. So, this is Timbo. He's an Australian zookeeper. New task, overpopulation. He says, good day. I have a gift for you. Visit me in my zoo and I can tell you all about it. Just find the Australian Zoo on the world map. So you're gonna also get like um, a lot of buttons that are gonna appear up here. So this is the map. And if you notice, you have a red button. So every continent will have, except Antarctica, all the other continents will have a red button. And Every time you go to there, it's going to notify you of any animals that you can buy for your zoo. So in this case, um, I'm getting bunnies, okay? Because sometimes the zoos get overpopulated and so zoos start to kind of offer the animals over to other zoos because they don't fit in those zoos. And uh, sometimes you'll buy them and you'll see as the game progresses. Says, truth, we had an unexpected boost to our rabbit population last month. We just don't know what to do with them. I heard you were starting a new zoo and instantly thought we might have found the perfect home for a couple of our floppy-eared furballs. What'd you say? So of course I'm going to get them, because I need animals. Alright, so once you accept them, you just return to your zoo and you click on where you want them to be delivered. So this is what I want. And task complete. Okay, so we're gonna end up opening the zoo. And here comes my bunny rabbits. They deliver them by helicopter. So of course I need to open up the zoo. First, I'm going to pause it real quick so that I can get my... Oop. No! You don't want that. Ugh. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. So, I'm going to prepare this little area. So you want to go to it? here. We need water. So if you notice, this already comes with one water pump. So as it, as you build your zoo, you have to purchase more water pumps in order to uh, make sure that all your enclosures have the water. There is my, oh, doing this wrong. Okay, so you click on the enclosure. Sorry, it's been a while. And I'm going to add objects, and of course, I need to add a little basin, a water basin. 
Now, right now, I'm going, I'm not really going for any kind of fancy stuff. I just got a basic water basin. Um, enrichment, just to keep your animals happy. Again, as you go um, throughout the, the game, you'll see that you're going to be researching things. And as you research, you'll have the ability to uh, gain more things for your zoo. So right now I have like the basic. Shelters will open up. You'll get to decorate also. Um, I usually wait until I have more money to start decorating. And then um, you can add water features to your um, enclosures as well. So right now, I just have two bunny rabbits. Now, I need to build a shop to start earning revenue for my visit from my visitors. And apparently, my ticket price is too low, so I need to change it. So where do I go? Usually, click on this zoo sign. And um, we want that. Ooh, that's fancy. I like this one. Alright. I need to open my zoo. You'll get reports from the newspaper about your zoo. The mayor officially opened our new zoo today. The zoo that had been named Matriarchy has, was made possible through an investment from Kathleen Kay, a renowned international business mogul. The management of the zoo said, We hope to become a huge success, bringing joy to animal lovers everywhere, while also being financially responsible to our investors, maybe even buying them out and gaining our own independence one day. Uh, and here's a picture of our zoo. Look how fancy we are. Ooh. Okay. So, ticket price. It's $5 to get in. I think we're right. We're okay. Right. The max time to close is 5 p.m. And you'll get different uh, tasks where you can stay open later or things like that. Right now, we do not have any park staff, but I need to start hiring people in order to keep my park running, my zoo running. All right, and right now I'm still paused. They do want me to build a shop, so again, I go back to this little arrow right here where it says build, and shops. So, I mean, you can't go to a zoo without a gift stand at the end of your zoo. I'm gonna put it right here. Right where people can. And I will hire a person for that. Uh, and we put some drinks, some snacks. We're in Little Zoo right now. Next to the snack machine. So as I play, you can't really rotate the screen, so you just have to uh, just go with it. Alright, so these little arrows tell you this is where they can use the machine. So I'm going to apply some, how much are these, five dollars, metal, no one wants to walk on metal, should I do wood, maybe I'm going to do wood this time. I may redo this. There we go. All right, and here you can see my money. I have eight hundred ninety-five dollars. That's all I have, so I can't go crazy. Your park rating, uh, your morality. So um, you can go to uh, one of two ways. You can go as a good zookeeper or an evil zookeeper. That's up to you. And again, this is your research area. And then this is the day you're working and the time as it goes. And so, let me start. Man. Just... 
I'm gonna make a little path for these guys. So that up here. Walk down this way. Alright. My zoo will keep changing, I promise. It will keep changing. Alright, so the grass does not cost anything. So that's my go-to. So it doesn't look so bland. Okay, put some under here. There we go. We'll keep that lights. There we go. So cute. It's free, so I'm just gonna fill this whole place with grass. So I don't just have dirt. Planting grass, that's what I'm doing. Making my zoo look beautiful. Oh, planted outside. How lovely that looks. So cute. It's okay. We'll we'll make it look pretty later. Okay, so play. Of course you could go faster. Things move faster. Here's our our first peeps to show up. And they're gonna love our bunnies. Look, they love them. So cute. The best. So now they're making us money. Yeah. Look at that. And we made money. I may have to move this. Out. <laughs> All right. So again, this is where your morality comes in. You have to choose something. So this is a research grant to build a research building. And so they you need to uh, build a research uh, facility in order to gain all those different aspects of um, the zoo. So if you want different shops it's going to be in the research building. So it says Hi, I represent the Zoological Foundation for Research, and I am here to offer you a grant. If you build a research hub before the end of the day, I will fund you for the next 14 days. And we do need money, so um, we will do that. I am going to accept that. And again, here is the newspaper. about my plans to have a research hub in the zoo. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I like to keep like these buildings all together. So here's my research hub. It's gonna cost me $100 to build. And we'll build it right here. There we go. So I'm gonna get $250 per day for 14 days. And we need the money. So let's hire. You only get one research hub. Uh, I'm gonna have to buy a store room because that's where we have all the food for our animals. So I want to prepare for that. I'm gonna hire someone. So you only get one. And let us add our panels so people can walk. All right, cool. So I'm gonna click. 
click on the research hub and here's my research and here I can click on what I want to research so I hold down so here if I want a desert enclosure all I need is one research um, point so as as the game progresses you're gonna get more tiles and of course they get more expensive with research points so right now I can unlock the small ball enrichment pack so I get all those different colored balls um, or I can do a decoration more decorations benches um, I may do the desert enclosure and so you hold it down and, and there you go and so they give you like little clues as to what's next so if you notice like these purple ones this is your morality requirement. This is your evil, okay? And then the gold ones are your good morality, right? And so you can earn morality points based on decisions you make as the game goes on. Um, here you have all the different categories, so it'll give you a clue, like all these are enclosure, um, what's it called? say enclosure updates and so you get different shops benches your restrooms they have different themes for restrooms bins are the same way lamp posts are themed sign boards ATMs decorations plants shelters the floor tiles also uh, you get to add a sub um, to take your people once your uh, zoo gets bigger you can take people from one side of the zoo to the other a lot faster and that really helps with um, your zookeepers because they can get from one side of the zoo to the other to um, feed the animals and clean up the enclosures and all that um, you can start a farm and this again is morality based so you can start a farm for feeding your animals and and all of that or you can um, go the other way and outsource your animals as food for uh, people and stuff like that so then you have good energy evil energy you can have factories here are your employees you get to upgrade your employees hello baby and so you go on um, you can have breeding programs so this helps also with like animals that are um, low population advertising different facilities again more decoration fountain lakes staff entrances you can make it fancy for only staff members to enter there so you don't have a, um, different people just wandering around and you have different attractions so there you go that's what your research is and you gain research points as the day goes on here is your storeroom so here you have um, you have to go and buy animal food so I usually click on the quick order because I'm trying to uh, organize my zoo and I forget and so I'm like oh no I have to quick order so I click on that but you can change up the different uh, foods of course if you're making a lot of money you can uh, amp up the fancy foods like grass carrots and greens and this also comes into uh, when you start making farms you can use your farm vegetables to feed your animals so that saves you money as well all right, so now that we are finally up and running, I would love to start tracking your progress. If you reach 25 total customers, I will be able to give you a small performance bonus. Ooh, I need to get 25 visitors here. All right, so, oh, another person. Franny, complainer, always one. Hi there, I can't believe a zoo has opened up here in town. I have a small observation though. Perhaps you might want to feed your animals. Hunger leads to starvation, and starvation leads to death. And I don't want dead animals stinking up the neighborhood. 
build a storeroom for food. Hey, Granny the Complainer. I did it already. Look at me. 100 bucks for me. Oh, now, now she needs me to hire a janitor. <laughs> a rat infested den of disgust. Unless you hire someone to tidy it up. Alright. No needy. Anyway, so here you go, and I need to probably start hiring more people to take care of my animals. So you can also change the way your storage room appears. Since I'm going for wood, I think I'm just going to make it like that. That's cute. I can change the sky, too. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to do that. Alright, cool. So my tasks. Research an item. Check. Done that. Look at me making money. Hmm. So, at the end of a certain amount of time, you get a, a report. And so, apparently, I have a C. That's okay. It's gonna get better. I promise. Um, there, I got a C because there wasn't enough animals to see. Um, we do have a reliable and accessible water source and all my animals are fed, okay? But as you can see, like if I get an A or B, I get um, different rewards for that. And so that also helps on the money I make at the zoo and everything. And of course, if I get an F, I lose money. I want to lose money. I need to make the money, right? So... 25 people already showed up. Cool. Look at that. And just like that. Alright, sweet. I need to hire a janitor. Kathleen right now does not has not requested anything. So let's hire a janitor. Um, staff. So you can search for a janitor. Recruit. Um, you can do social media, job portals, but uh, right now I don't have the money for that. So, we're just going to do the old way. Post a hiring sign. And that's it. It's searching. Uh, you can come back and check, and you'll have applicants here. So, right now it's searching for uh, people to be my janitor. Okay. No applicants yet. That is okay. I mean, I'm charging $5. You can come see Benny's for $5. You're fine. It's fine. The cool part about this is I can move my whole enclosure. Oh. Hundred visitors. Got a new person. Animal Picture Club. You know, I really love seeing lots of animals. They bring peace and tranquility to me. But I'm also a member of an online animal spotting group. So we compete to get pictures of the rarest species. I don't think we are supposed to take them at the zoo, but I just like winning on social media regardless of the reality. Anyways, you should get more animals. Thank you, Potter. Okay, so here on the side, you're going to get, like, the updates of, of the animals that you'll see right here. Right? Okie dokie. Let's see if we have... Oh, here is a morality check. Alright? So it says here, The animal keeper told me that we have found a lost dog, a beautiful Labrador. We could try to find its owner, or we can use it as an opportunity to earn more money and expand this fledging zoo. Why don't we dress the dog up as a lion and use it to amaze your visitors? So, right? I can dress it as a lion and put it on display and lie to my customers, or I can spend $50 to hold an advertising campaign to find its owner. Um... I think I'm just going to go with the good choice. I'm just going to try to find its owner. Okay, so here is your morality check. 
So your choices matter. The morality, morality choices you make will impact the buildings and actions you can use and may be reflected in certain people's behavior. Choose wisely. All right, so you get different things as you um, choose between good and evil things. Or bad, I shouldn't say evil, bad things. Round upon.